Hi, my name is Srinath Kritikar and I'm a solutions architect on the Amazon FSX team. I'm going to provide you a quick overview of Amazon FSX for NetApp ONTAP, a fully managed file storage service built on NetApp's ONTAP storage operating system. As an AWS native fully managed service, Amazon FSX eliminates the administrative overhead of setting up and managing hardware, configuring and patching ONTAP software, or orchestrating backups. With Amazon FSX for ONTAP, you get the simplicity, agility, and scalability of an AWS service using which you can easily launch, run, and scale fully managed ONTAP file systems within minutes and leverage the native integrations with other AWS services. Built on NetApp's ONTAP technology, the service provides rich set of features like storage efficiencies using compression, deduplication, compaction, and thin provisioning, low-cost, fully elastic capacity pool tiering of data based on access patterns, data protection using ONTAP native snapshots, snap walls, or Amazon FSx backups, disaster recovery using SnapMirror or Amazon FSx backups, low latency access to data from remote sites or on-premises using Flex Cache or Global File Cache, multi-protocol access to the same data from Linux and Windows clients or industry standard SMB and NFS protocols and support for iSCSI block storage, and many more features like antivirus scan, F policy, flex groups, flex clones, data encryption, etc. available with ONTAP. This is the architecture of an Amazon FSx for ONTAP multi AZHA file system. A file system is the primary resource in Amazon FSx and similar to a NetApp cluster deployed on premises. Each multi AZHA file system has a primary and a standby node spread across two different availability zones in an active passive configuration. Data is replicated within the availability zone and also synchronously replicated between availability zones. When a disk fails on the file system, it's transparently replaced. In the event a primary node fails, clients are transparently failed over to the standby node. Once the failed node is replaced, clients are transparently failed back to the primary node. You can mount the FSx file system from a wide variety of compute instances in the AWS cloud and also from on-premises compute environments using Direct Connect or VPN connection. Using Elastic Capacity Pool tiering along with the storage efficiency features like compaction, deduplication, and compression, you can optimize costs. When you create an FSx for ONTAP file system, you can provision the capacity for your high-performance primary tier storage and enable automated tiering policies. Enabling tiering allows intelligent policy-based data movement from the primary storage tier to the capacity pool tier based on data access patterns. The capacity pool tier is elastic and can scale up or down based on data usage in the capacity pool tier. Now, let's look at some of the many different ways you can use FSx for ONTAP file systems. If you have a production NetApp storage in your on-premises data center, you can replicate the data to an Amazon FSx for ONTAP file system in the cloud to build your DR or backup and archive using snap walls. If you have a production FSx file system running in the AWS cloud, you can use SnapMirror to create a cross-region DR copy of your data. If you have compute instances in a different region that need access to the same data, you can configure Flex Cache and make data locally available for low latency access. You can also use Flex Cache or Global File Cache to bring data closer to your on-premises compute or remote office locations. Additionally, if you want to leverage the scale and agility of compute available in AWS Cloud, you can create a flex cache volume on your F6 for ONTAP file system, link to your on-premises NetApp storage, and burst your workloads to the cloud. I am going to show you how easy it is to create a new F6 for ONTAP file system. You can use the Amazon F6 console, the AWS CLI, or F6 API to create a new file system. In addition to the AWS management tools, you can also use NetApp management tools like NetApp Cloud Manager, ONTAP CLI, and the ONTAP REST API to manage your file system. From your Amazon FSx console, click Create File System. Select Amazon FSx for NetApp ONTAP and click Next. You can choose between Quick Create or Standard Create options. You can use the Quick Create option to easily create a new file system with the default recommended configuration. The Standard Create option allows you to set all the configuration options like performance, networking, security, backups, maintenance, etc. I will use the Quick Create option and specify a file system name, input a storage capacity, select my VPC, and I will enable the storage efficiency features 
deduplication, compression and compaction for my file system. Once done, I'll click next. This creates a file system with a single SVM and a volume, allowing for quick access to data from Linux instances over the NFS protocol. Once the file system is created, you can create additional SVMs and volumes as needed and also optionally join your SVM to an Active Directory to enable access from Windows and macOS clients over the SMB protocol. Next, let's go ahead and click on Create File System. It will take approximately 20 to 30 minutes to create the file system resources. I'm going to use a file system that I've already created for the rest of my demo. Click on the file system ID to view details of your file system. Click on the Storage Virtual Machines tab to view available SVMs on the file system or create new SVMs. Click on Volumes tab to view available volumes or create new volumes. Click on the Administration tab where you can see the file system management endpoint and the FSX admin user that can be used to SSH to the file system and perform administrative operations using the ONTAP CLI. I'm going to SSH into my file system using file system management endpoint. Here, you can use the ONTAP CLI commands to administer your file systems. I'm going to run vServer show to list all my SVMs. I can run volume show to list all my volumes. I can run network interface show to list all my logical interfaces. I'm going to use the IP address of my NFS endpoint for my SVM to mount my NFS volume from a Linux EC2 instance. I can verify my file system was successfully mounted by running the mount command. You can see the file system was successfully mounted using NFS version 4. Next, I'm going to create a new file in this multi-protocol directory. I have joined my SVM to an Active Directory domain and exported the multi-protocol directory on my NFS volume as an SMB share, which you can see below. On my Windows EC2 instance, I'm going to map the SMB share that I showed earlier. I can view the file that I had created earlier from my Linux instance and successfully read it. Using the multi-protocol feature of ONTAP, I was able to access the same data from Linux over NFS and Windows over SMB. You can easily migrate your data from on-premises NetApp storage using SnapMirror or use tools like rsync, robocopy, NetApp XCP or CloudSync to migrate from non-NetApp storage. For offline migrations, you can use our AWS Snow family. I hope you have benefited from this quick overview of Amazon FSx for NetApp ONTAP. Using FSx, you can build and test your applications faster. You can leverage the ONTAP features without needing to learn about how to build and manage ONTAP. You can find additional information and documentation on our Amazon FSx product page. Thank you.